Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Tab. Today we're doing the centrifugal oil filter housing, which is this right here. Because mine is leaking right around this edge. Because, common problem, people over tighten these nuts. They strip them out and then it doesn't seal properly at all. Right, first things first, we're going to have to take the induction pipe off um, because it actually sits just down here. We might have to take the turbo off as well, not too sure just as yet, but we'll get as much stripped down as possible first and then see where we're at. Three Jubilee clips, there's one here onto the MAF sensor. I've actually had the MAF sensor deleted on this when I had it remapped. Yeah, I've got two aircon pipes in the way as well. Right, that's what we're changing. There's a bolt you can get to just behind here. We'll see, I can't get the camera in there, so unfortunately I can't show you. Uh, and there's two on this side, just behind um, the oil filter. To get the bottom one, shouldn't be too bad. But to get the top one, it's just behind the oil filter, so we might have to take the oil filter off just to get it out. I am having to take the oil filter off. Hopefully, it will come off without any drama. I will be putting this one back on. I, did, I changed it not that long ago. Ah, no. Managed to get the oil filter off. Really stupid design on these. <laughs> One of the oil feeds for the turbo runs right underneath the oil filter. It's a bugger to get out. Make sure you've got a bowl underneath because you have to tip it and then bring it out the back. And you lose all the oil inside of it. Lovely. I will be putting that back on. The seal's okay on it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to take it off, hence why I haven't got a new one for it. But if you're watching this beforehand, get a new one before you start doing it. Don't make the same mistake I did. Now that's off, we can get to that's my old filter wrench that I used. Now that's off, we can get to as soon as I can find my ratchet. There it is. We can get to the three bolts on the back of the, the filter housing. There's two on this side, if you're going just behind the turbo, to the cold side of the turbo. The long one goes at the front. Another long one goes at the rear of it at the bottom. And the top one should be a short one. I can't help. There you go, yep. The short one goes at the top of the back. Right. Now the fun part. I'm trying to get it out. Because I don't reckon I'm going to be able to get it out. There's another pipe on it. Obviously, if we look at this one, there's a pipe on the bottom here. There's two nuts going off. Hopefully, be able to get a spanner on them. 
for one there. Might not be able to get onto that one. We'll give it a go. There was a slight change of plan on that. Um, I've unbolted the pipe from the bottom. I'll show you now. Right, you see that pipe there? That's obviously the other end of it that comes off the, um, the oil filter housing. I've just unbolted that off the side of the sump. You might have a few drips of oil come out of it, but it won't pour out, so don't worry. Right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully it'll go smoothly, because I don't know which way I'm actually going to have to get this out. We still might have to take the turbo off, yeah? It's not going to come out through the top and it's not going to come out through the side either. Unfortunately the turbo is going to have to come off. Might only have to undo these, these three bolts on the back here where it connects to the manifold. Um, and there's an oil feed pipe on top of it here as well. So let's get them off. There's three 13 mils. It to the manifold. Ideally you need an open-ended spanner or a ring spanner. Ring spanner. You will need a ring spanner for these. Unfortunately you can't quite get a socket and a ratchet in there. not to drop the bolts down into the engine bay. One, two and there's a third. The oil feed pipe is a 14mm on top of the turbo on the cold side. No, in between the cold side and the hot side. There should be two copper washers on there. Yeah, there's two copper washers either side of the the bolt that goes through it. Oh, don't lose them. I've never lost them before. Right. That should give us enough room now. Just pull it away from the manifold. Unfortunately, the pipe is getting hooked on something. I think it's the engine mount. Now we've got a bit better access, we can get to the bolts on the bottom. I can see the, this being a little bit awkward. But... Needs must. There's one out. And on the floor. Try and get to the other one. all about seeing with your hands. I don't know if there's a gasket between this, there probably is. Try not to, if there is, I'm trying not to damage it. Try not to drop it either. Right. And there goes the pipe. I dropped it. awkward. In the end I had to take it out from the same way you took the oil filter out, right around the back of the turbo, so through here. Um, couldn't quite get it out of there because the exhaust manifold was still in the way on this corner here. But yeah, I'd say just pull it over back. Obviously it, it will flex. There's a flexi joint on the, on the downpipe on the exhaust. There's a flexi pipe there so it will flex over and obviously there's rubber hoses. Obviously it's only three bolts for the um, for the exhaust to go bolt onto the turbo so you can take that off if you like. Um, but yeah, there's our problem. It should not be like that at all. So yeah, the oars, as you can see, it's been pissing out the back here. Yeah. Oh, well now let's get the new one on. 
the pipe that came, came off the bottom of the oil filter housing, obviously this is the new one. Um, I've already changed the oil filter inside, uh, but I don't know obviously how long the one that was originally in here has been in there because obviously it's a second hand part. Um, so all it is, them two bolts, unbolt it, filter out, filter in, done. It's that easy. Um, but yeah, on the bottom of this, obviously that's where the pipe went. Um, there, there was a gasket in between it, which is this one here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there was a gasket that was in between it, which is this one here. Obviously you've got to make sure you keep hold of that, get that back in between. It's going to be very awkward, I know, but these must. Let's get it back in. It's old. Now for the fun part. Gotta try and get to this, this, and a bolt back in its place. So it'll be fun. And the right way around as well. There's the one bolt. go he says after a lot of messing about I'm gonna bite the bullet I'm gonna take the exhaust manifold off it's just gonna be easier um, yeah after a lot of messing about it's just it's too awkward you can't get in there so I'm gonna take the exhaust manifold off and then hopefully be able to just bolt it on the bottom of the filter and then feed the whole lot down into place And it's raining. Great. We shall be back in a few moments. When it stops raining. Right, it's time to stop raining. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Yes, got it. Achievement. Didn't drop any of the bolts. Right, unfortunately, unfortunately I can't get the exhaust manifold out. It's pressed hard up against the air comp pump. Obviously if you haven't got an air comp pump or anything here, if you haven't got air con on your model, obviously you should be able to take it, take it off. But, so new change of plan, I'm just going to take the turbo off and out of the way. Um, hopefully that'll give me enough room to manoeuvre it into place with the pipe on the bottom of the oil filter housing. Fingers crossed. Hopefully that'll work. Obviously, I've gone into this completely blind. Um, haven't done any research or anything like that. It's all part of the fun, he says. But yeah, I'm going to take the turbo off now. So, need the flat head for the Jubilee clip on the bottom. On the cold side, right, there's 315 mils on the downpipe for the exhaust. It goes onto the turbo. And find the ratchet. There it is. Oh. He's doing a ball. Just suddenly goes. He was afraid for your knuckles. Right, that's three bolts out. There's an oil feed. I'm going to try and remove it. There's an oil feed that goes to the bottom of the turbo, right underneath the oil feed for the top. So it's literally there underneath. There's two bolts on the bottom of it. I think, I think there should be eight bolts. Get on this one as well, so just take it off, be careful. There's one, there's the gasket, and there's the bolt. 
Turbo's off. Easy as that. Should have just done that in the first place. And obviously, there is the filter housing. Right. You can see a bit better now. Obviously. Yeah. Okay, look. Okay. Feel like we're getting somewhere now. At least this won't take you guys as long. Been on this for about two hours now. Rain hasn't helped. It was raining for about half an hour. Got the pipe. Make sure we're bolt it in the right way. So it goes on that way. So that needs to go that way. Especially if you were doing this on your own as well. Obviously you don't want to over tighten these at all. Just give them a tweak because it's only cast and you will strip the threads out of them if they get over tightened. Exhaust manifold's bolted back up. We'll get this in. Obviously bolted the pipe on the bottom of the oil filter housing. Thread it down. In place. Try and get the pipe, obviously, because where, where the, that pipe bolts to the sump, there's two studs sticking out the sump. Obviously, the gasket's already on there. Try and slide the pipe onto that. I've just been, I've just been able to do it from up here, so you should be able to do it. Um, try and slide that onto the studs before uh, bolting anything else up, because otherwise and bolt it again, get that pipe back on, then bolt the old filter housing back onto the block. So just to avoid having to go through that, make sure you get them studs aligned up first into the onto the pipe. Alright, let's get some bolts in the old filter housing. Short one on the right hand side of the housing at the top, the long one goes underneath it on the right hand side. There's another long one as well goes to the left of it, just three bolts on it. That one. There we go. Just going to get that pipe underneath bolted back on properly, and then we'll get the turbo back on. Right, that's the bottom of the hose bolted back onto the sump, just two 10mm bolts, 10mm nuts, sorry. There goes my socket, fuck it. Um, yeah, right, let's get the turbo back on. Next. It's so cold. Oh. Doing this on the driveway in December isn't fun. But needs must. Needs must. I need make sure you put all your gaskets in place. Get the exhaust my full box back on now. I haven't quite got the bolting in the little feed yet because I can't get the gasket in line but the turbo's moving around quite a bit so I'll get that fixed in place first. I've put all the exhaust manifold bolts back in, uh, top and bottom. Um, I've also put the turbo back on. I've put the top oil feed back on. Uh, obviously it's the pipe which goes down the back here. Uh, I've put the bottom oil feed back on, uh, just underneath, which is just here. Um, I've also put the little pipe back on. Uh, obviously when you do the top oil feed, remember to put the copper washer back on top and underneath the actual feed. So it does look a bit dark. Can see that but yeah so and I've got obviously all, all the bolts back on for the, from the turbo to the exhaust manifold and the exhaust down pipe 
switches down there I've got all these bolts back on um, I've got the two bolts back on the pipe right down the bottom uh, that goes from the oil filter housing down to the sump yeah so we're getting there slowly right now just putting the rubber hose and the jubilee clip back on on the cold side of the turbo ah. I'll probably have butter fingers today right that's it that's the cold side of the turbo back on towards the intercooler Right, what next? Are we done? I think we're done. Just need to make sure I've got my parts left over. All that's left to do now is get the oil filter back in place. Let me see, try and get it back in the way we took it out. Obviously these spin on oil filters, as you do know, only do them hand tight. Don't go tightening them with a ratchet, like the oil filter ratchet or anything like that. Just get it as, get it tight with your hand. That's it. Need some new gloves now. Some bitch mittens. Right, oil filter's back on. Obviously because we have lost a little bit of oil. Once it's all back together, obviously need to run it up. Uh, make sure the oil filter is full and then turn it off and then let the oil settle in and we'll, we'll dip it. Because the uh, last thing you want, you don't want to run out of oil, run it dry of oil or anything like that. Getting the air feed back onto the turbo now. And in there. Back in there. Breather. <sighs> right. I think we're done. No parts left over. Tools everywhere. Tools absolutely everywhere, but no parts, thank god. Just going to run it up quickly and uh, check the oil level. Let's let the oil settle down a sec. It's so cold. Fingers are dropping off. It is December, but still. There's a lot. Definitely needs. Who needs a funnel? Obviously, I don't know how true this is, but I was told that the bit, the bit between the top notch and the bottom notch. A bit between the top notch and the bottom notch, apparently, I've been told, is exactly one litre. In majority of cars. Obviously which cars, I don't know, but what I was told was that it's a litre in between. Obviously, if any of you guys do know that, or other can talk, talk in complete and utter shit, let me know down in the comments section and we'll find out the truth. Right guys, and we're done. Obviously, if you guys enjoyed the video, give us a like. Also, share and subscribe. Any questions at all, drop a comment down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.